Hello everyone. So today I will be showing you how to do metadata backup in your Salesforce org. So there are many objects as you can see contact object uh, object then case. So today I will be showing you how to do. So first of all go to the setup. So setup why I'm going to set up because I, I will be showing you from setup what I will be showing you the data exports. So we generally do data export to retrieve the information of our org. Suppose at a time your org got corrupted. So at that time we will be retrieving the records. So with that the help of data export we can export now or we can schedule for the records of our org. So first of all for metadata backup we have to go to packagebuilder.hiraku.com so here you will go and you will select your org whether it is production or sandbox and you will click on login with your org code it will take time to generate after that you will click on all components you will get the component for your information i would like to inform you that Salesforce uh, provide a Salesforce toolkit that is called that is called package builder. Okay, so this is the package builder which are going to create a metadata API for us that we will be using in Workbench. So it is generally it will create an XML format for us, which will be easily help uh, we can easily retrieve with the help of Workbench. So it takes time because it will be querying all the components which are available in our org so it will take time and you and uh, the definition as you can see see that this is use the Salesforce metadata api to build the package.xml so it's basically use a Salesforce metadata api for generating the components so let's wait Oh yes, this is the what we get in XML format. First of all, you will select everyone. Okay, you will basically copy everything and you will paste in your notepad or notepad plus plus and you will save with the name of package.xml. So basically you will save with the name of package.xml which you have to upload while retrieving from working. So I am saving with the help of package.xml and I am saving this. As I was already having so it gave me a prompt now we'll go to workbench okay so I will go to workbench and I will select the version and I will click on login in Salesforce so what is workbench uh, if you want to know I will make another video so you will click on retrieve then you will click on choose and you will choose the file okay you will put next then retrieve successfully retrieve now here is a point where it will be taking lots of time okay because it will be uh, it will be basically retrieving all the metadata of your org since org is having lots of information like we do have an objects fields everything so it's basically takes lots of time to retrieve all the components which are available in your production org okay or your developer org so it may take one hour two hour depend upon your org size and whatever the objects and whatever the information which are stored in your org so it will take lots of time so you can do at your own end so this is the chief file which the workbench has created for us which are we are going to download so we'll click on download the zip file and the zip file will retrieve all the components which are available so it will take time depend upon the org so for me it was no information so i'll click and open what is there in in it so i'll extract i'll extract all the components Okay, and I will store in a particular folder. Let's say desktop, uh, or or let me save to the folder which I have already created array folder. So let me extract everything over there. 
so for those who don't know what is workbench workbench is basically a web based tool designed for cell phones admin and developer which allow them to interact with cell phone organization to insert delete and many operation they do so here is the things which are available in our metadata say class so whatever the class which we having in our org that will be shown then the class data service then emails in any flow which we have we created for our org or the labels or the layout so everything will be basically present in this component so you can say with the help of metadata you can create an org you can see if your org get corrupted you can see this are the object let me search uh, let's say account so account uh, object it is going to show so let's see whether it is yes this is account object it is showing so with this uh, is basically very useful because uh, whenever our org get corrupted we can replicate our org so with this metadata so metadata is very much